Hello, it's Friday today. The countdown to college starting continues. Three days, including today. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then boom, she's in on Monday. Today, we're gonna to go and meet up with the local gal pals, is these home educator friends who live relatively locally to us, so we're gonna meet them in the park. I've been sitting here drinking coffee and having a bit of a wrestle with the Cardiff City Centre shopping vlog. I don't know what was the matter with it. I did film quite a lot of footage. I had about half an hour's worth. And um, it was just juddering and it wouldn't play properly in my editing software. It was all right at first, but it was the more and more I was cutting it, the slower it was going. So it was like playing the audio for a bit, but it was only changing the scene like every one second. So I was just getting this succession of stills and I just couldn't see it properly to do it. But I've discovered a hack, which I shall mention because I do have quite a few creators themselves who watch this channel. So my hack was I exported it as an MP4 and then edited that instead and it didn't judder. So it was a bit weird because when you edit normally, you've got all your billions of clips I don't know up to a couple of hundred for me sometimes for a vlog and like they're all like a few seconds each but you can clearly see what they are because they have a little thumbnail image on them so you can see if that's where I was in the castle eating my sandwich that's where I was looking at the gargoyle and, and I can see so it, when you've just consolidated it all into one lump as an mp4 you don't have that anymore so it is a bit <sighs> so if you can rough cut it first then export it that's better because you haven't got quite as hard a job but anyway that was my quick last resort solution to that so it is actually this time and we need to be going by about this time or we could go that time if we go on the scooters we might go on the scooters to save 10 minutes i need to make some food we're going to take it with us oh masks yeah I was going to do that and then I got sidetracked. Oh, I haven't washed up from yesterday now. <laughs> this is a bit of a bad thing that's happening. You probably noticed I want to be a full-time YouTuber. So I'm being a full-time YouTuber. It's just I don't actually have a full-time YouTuber income yet. <laughs> the trajectory is like that since I started treating it like a full-time job some months ago when all my real job dried up like the morning dew. So I'm trying really, really hard because I just love it. I love vlogging. I know I haven't got a particularly exciting or extraordinary life, but I enjoy making them and apparently you enjoy watching them or you wouldn't watch them. So uh, it's a win-win, you know? And uh, yeah, it's what I want to do. I love it. But it is, it does take a lot of hours every single day to do everything. So I got in from Cardiff yesterday evening and by the time I'd eaten and edited as much as I could before my eyes were burning, it was nearly 11 o'clock at night and I hadn't finished it. So I didn't wash up because it was 11 o'clock at night and I hadn't had a rest at all. Uh, that even included editing on the train back from Cardiff as well. <laughs> it took that long. And then I got up in the morning at 9 o'clock and just started working on it straight away after getting up. And only just finished really. I answered about two comments and just had to leave the comments. Now it's 12 o'clock and I've got to cook food and I still haven't washed up. This is what happens when you try to be a full-time YouTuber. Yeah, it, it, it's, it really is full-time. So... Let's hope all this investment of time pays off and I don't have to veer off course and go and do something else which takes up all my time instead. That might happen yet, but I'm trying very hard for it not to happen. I did manage to get a wash load on though. All was not completely lost. Let's just sort these masks out. Well, one thing with my little bleachy trick is it's definitely getting them nice and white. <laughs> never really used bleach at all but I don't know it's a bit exceptional times at the moment and a GP friend of mine said that their directive was to use bleach in their washing machine and do a 90 degree wash with all their PPE so she definitely knows right in you go I'll leave that to soak now probably like till after get to back from the park or something and then hang them out and they dry really quickly then I just um I literally just hang them up on there overnight and only normally do one or two and then that's that's enough then right I'm not going to wash up right now because I haven't got time but I'm going to cook these corn burgers they're frozen ones you know I did that to reduce the clear fest in the Asda's the other day I got these two I couldn't fit them in the freezer I absolutely filled it up so I'm going to fry those up now and put them in the reduced to clear bagels just like as a sandwich and just pack it and then we'll probably eat it quite soon after we arrive actually second cup of coffee from the pot it's mostly decaf by the way oh gosh it's just as well because the cow's strong out of it um, i'm not loving 
the Soya lights. This was a substitution on my online shopping, and of course I bulk bought it as well, so I've got to put up with it now. These smell good though. Mm -mm. Oh, it's looking a bit smoky. I think I should turn those right down. Oh, I'm rubbish at cooking this sort of stuff. That looks like it's going to set the smoke alarm off. <laughs> ah, don't set the smoke alarm off, please. I'm gonna open some windows. <laughs> so I managed to slightly singe the burgers. Over here we have the bagel station. I've been doing a bit of buttering. I'm going to put some cheese and ketchup in mine. I'm just going to put ketchup in Izzy's because she does not really like cheese very much. Right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. There's mine and there's Izzy's. Oh, I think I might have just given her two bottoms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got two tops and she's got two bottoms. Oh, oh I'm such a glamorous YouTuber. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. That was supposed to be contained under the cheese. I forgot it was Emmental. <laughs> Here's Isabel. Good morning, Mrs. Moose. Oh, look at this makeup. What's that smell? Mama's been cooking. Pack lunch. I'm going to wrap it in foil. What do you think? Yeah, you've got two bottoms and I've got two tops. You've got a bottom sandwich, basically. Right, I better get packed up. We're going soon. We're going to take the scooters. Well, if we're walking around, we're going to have to drag the scooters You along. won't be walking around. You're just going to go to the play area. And then if it rains, we'll go and sit in the bandstand. I just think it'd be better if we walk. Well, tell you what, you set out at half past on foot and I'll set out at 22 on the scooter and I'll meet you okay. there. But you'll have to walk home as well and I'll be scooting down the hill all the way. You'll be jealous. I will not be jealous. You will? She's just pinched the bird seed. And I know why she's doing that. It's because she wants to feed the birds when she gets to the park and they do sell it actually at the park for 50 pence for a little bag and they've kind of been buying 50p bags and feeding the birds together and they just love it it's become a bit of a ritual but we kind of cottoned on that it was pretty much the same thing as we have at home and she's just gone out the door and it's just occurred to me that I don't actually need to rush quite as much now because as long as the kids all meet together that's the whole point of it today is the first day that we've been able to meet up in the park since the schools have gone back. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you might remember that I mentioned one of the big perks about being a home educator is that you can do stuff while kids are in school. When it's not so crowded, you could go shopping in Cardiff Centre, for instance, while it's a lot less crowded because everyone's at work and school. And it's the same with play areas. Well, it's the same with everything, but it's the same with play areas. So if the home edders tend to meet up in school hours, to go to the play areas because they've got the whole place to themselves and anybody else their age is probably going to be another home educator. Probably quite often you see home educators and you just presume that they are on the way to the dentist or the doctor's appointment or something but actually they're quite possibly just home educated. Uh, we're not that invisible you see after all. <laughs> but anyway Izzy's going to college on Monday so this is the last chance that she's gonna get to meet up with her home ed friends in school hours in a play area. You would think she's too old for a play area now at 15 but nah. Uh, to be honest, they do spend most of the time chatting now or sitting around a picnic bench, drawing, comparing their OCs, their original characters that they have created in their drawing pads and work, or playing card games. They like a game called Exploding Kittens, I think, but they've got a few a few on the go that they, they play. Various kids turn up with various games and they play whatever they feel like. We have had many a meet-up over the years in these indoor play centres, like the jungle gym type things, but... Yeah, she's definitely starting to get too old for that. The most recent times we've gone, because all the other home educating families have been congregating there, and the younger kids do enjoy it, but then the teens will just colonise a table and sit and play card games or draw or chat or whatever. Oh, I didn't quite finish my coffee, but I will swig it now. And clean my teeth. Is anybody else's teeth getting manky during lockdown? I was just on the verge of having a dentist appointment when lockdown happened and so everything was cancelled and you know getting on for six months later my teeth could do with a bit of a clean and polish from the hygienist so I'm gonna be holding the camera a bit further away yeah I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world at the moment to have manky teeth well I've arrived at the park I tell you one thing I've just been thinking about this scooter lark at my age 
And that is, it's a bit like a kind of scout's pacey type workout because where I live is quite hilly. So when you're going down the hills, it barely requires any effort other than good brake control because you're just basically gliding with one foot on the brake to control your speed to make sure you don't go perilously fast, especially where pedestrians might suddenly step out of a doorway. The houses where I live, a lot of them just go directly onto the street. We don't have front gardens. Uh, but then when you get to a hill, it's like a uh, big strain. Of course, you can do what I usually do, which is just get off and walk and push it like I am now. But, um, you know, you kind of get in these little bursts of cardiovascular, but short bursts when you're trying to go up a hill or even just on the flat, you know, it requires actual effort. Uh, there we are. So, yeah, because a lot of people say that's the best way to get fit, do short bursts of intense activity. And it's kind of what this is like. I'm coming to the play area now and I see Izzy, so I'm going to put the camera off and be sociable. I'm here, I'm parked and one of the mums has bought chairs again. Woohoo! This is me. <laughs> this is the life. Cheeseburger in the park. Mm. Not bad. It's about ten past four now, I'm back from the park. I've just beaten Isabel. What? She's getting in and I've only just got in. I scooted and she walked. <laughs> How did that happen? You must have been very fast. Have you got rocket legs? Yes. Mm. Had a nice time? Mm. Ooh, I've got scooter girl hat hair, <laughs> apparently. Um, I've got a sleeping beauty in my house. IB has let himself in with a key and done some work here at the desk and he's gone for a nap. Well, he so. hasn't let himself in without the key. That's true. Yeah, he has a key. Anyway, he sleeps very soundly, so he's probably not even woken up, even though we've both come crashing in through the door. I might make him a cup of tea, we'll see. I don't know, maybe I should just let him sleep. I'll let him sleep. Once I hear stirring, I'll put the kettle on for him. And while we were at the park, I had an email from Izzy's college. She now has a timetable for next week for one week only because they're still sorting out the main timetable. I think the pandemic has just kind of confused everybody so they're still working it out but Izzy is going to be put into a group so they're not all going back together they're doing it in groups spread out. She is in on Monday and she's only in for three days and I think it's only going to be three days a week because I thought full-time five days a week was a bit extreme for college because I didn't think they worked like that so it looks like they are in three days a week which is better because she still gets to hang out with her gal pals and keep up with her home ed social life for two days a week and obviously do the college work so you know not all play <laughs> they probably have to find the right balance and the other three days she'll have her college life finally better late than never i am going to tag all the washing up and hang the clothes to dry on the era 10 to 6 in the evening and that is all done ib is still sleeping we did go up and have a cup of tea together but he went straight back to sleep afterwards look Clear worktops array. I'm supposed to be waking IB up now to go for an evening walk, but an email has come in that I have to deal with immediately. So I don't know if I can. Well, I'll just check now. It's an email that comes with a deadline for me to do something. So I better see what that is. I have dealt with that. It is now 25 to seven and I'm gonna have to go and wake up sleeping prints up there. Sorry, it's me getting a message probably about the email that I've uh, been dealing with, trying to sort something out very quickly. Um, I need to wake IB up because he wants to go for a walk and then we're going to get fish and chips for tea. Yum, yum. Ah. <laughs> Some of them are really super ready to go. There's actually not an awful lot of light in the sky. I'm very much looking forward to our fish and chips when we get back. I will have worked up an appetite by the time we have them. We're home, and as IB's just suggested, it's time for an unboxing. Are you ready? Ta da! <laughs> Doesn't look that exciting. There's a lot there, I'll never eat all that. This is un buried under a sea of chips. Oh, yeah. Very poetic language. <coughs> IB's having fish and chips, and Lizzie's having sausage and chips. Except she's yet to make an appearance. She's in her room doing something. Being Another a one? Teen, I think is the project. Yeah, probably. Mmm, that was a crunchy one. They're very nice. Freshly cooked, actually. Right, I'm going to make somebody jealous now. JP and Fuerteventura. 
He doesn't get a lot of fish and chips where he lives. There you go. It's cool. It's a bit. It's a. <laughs> it's a quarter to nine at night and I can't get a word in their choice. It's a quarter to nine at night. We've all had fish and chips and sausages and things. Well, I haven't had sausages because I don't eat meat. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like as it really helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.